When you first start working in Scrivener, you'll probably have writing you want to import from other programs. Scrivener makes this easy. With a project open, go to File, Import, Files, select the file you wish to import, and click Import. Any text documents such as Word files, Final Draft scripts, RTFs, and plain text files will appear as text documents in your binder. It's also possible to import research files this way, such as PDFs, image files, web pages, and so on. You can also drag files directly from Finder into the Scrivener binder, but it's worth noting that only text files can be dragged into the draft folder. Anything that isn't a text file must be dragged into Research or another folder if you want to add it to your binder. If you just want to embed an image into a document, open that document in the editor and drag the image into the text where you want it to appear. For more information on this, watch our video on adding images to text. Importing a web page can be done through File, Import, Web Page. This imports the page in its entirety, with all its web formatting still intact, as it would appear in your web browser. In fact, you can even drag web pages directly from your web browser into sections of the binder outside your draft folder. Sometimes, though, you might want to make notes or edit text in a web page you've imported into Scrivener, so it might help to convert it into editable text. To do this, go to Documents, Convert, Web Page to Text, although keep in mind that this can dramatically change how a page appears in the editor. Importing files like this will store a copy of the file inside the Scrivener project itself. This will naturally increase the size of the project on disk, which might not be a concern if you're just importing text files, but is worth keeping an eye on if you're importing media files like high-resolution images or videos. In order to keep the file size manageable, you can import references to where these files appear on your hard drive rather than copying the files into the project. This can be done using files, import, research files as aliases. However, since these are only references, it's important to note that if you move the project to another device, the files you've imported as aliases will not be available because they aren't stored with the project itself. If you want the same research material to be available on multiple computers and other devices, it makes more sense just to import the files normally. If you've already got a large manuscript written in another app, you'll probably want to split it up into smaller documents when you import it into Scrivener. One way of doing this is to import it and use the split at selection feature. To demonstrate, I'll import a long document, place my cursor where I want to split it, then use documents split at selection or the keyboard shortcut command K to split the document in two. I can keep doing this throughout the manuscript to create as many sections as I want. Another way is to use File, Import, Import and Split. This tells Scrivener to search through a document as it imports and split the text where it finds a separator. You can tell Scrivener which symbol to use as a separator when you import it, but of course, this relies on you going through the manuscript you want to import and adding that symbol in anywhere you want a split to appear. Once you hit Import, the manuscript will be imported as a series of individual documents, divided wherever Scrivener found that symbol. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you're interested in learning more about the features of Scrivener, our other video tutorials should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!